one of these two I'm gonna try. Today we're gonna try uh, RX nut butter compared to Squirrel's nut butter. Please note these are very, very different products. I'm not gonna eat this one. And I'm not gonna put this one on my nuts. <laughs> I don't know the caloric content of this one or the nutritional content of that one. Let's talk a little bit about this one. Again, I can't, I can't see any of this, but I kind of memorized it. Oh, I can see it, holy crap. 180 calories, four grams of fat, not a lot of sodium in there, nine grams of protein. This isn't a super high carb gel thing or paste, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The protein in it, if I do end up using this, this will be more for a longer day, like six hours plus when I need some food that isn't all just carbs. So with these, they tell you straight up to knead it because the oil settles and shit like that. So let's see. of peanut butter and it tastes of peanut butter. It's not easy to get it all out. It's a little bit dry. My water's down there. If I have water available, we can have this. Right, other than it being dry, it tastes good if you like if you like peanut butter. I think you'll like that. On a scale of one to ten? Seven-ish. Like I said, don't use this as a carb source or an electrolyte source, it's, it's not that. To me, this is just going to be food when I'm sick of gels and other bars and shit like that. Well, hello. Hello, little friends.